Conversely to the direct kinematics, the inverse kinematics enables to compute the generalized coordinates q, q dot, and q dot dot as a function of the absolute kinematics. That is to say, the absolute position, velocities, and accelerations. However, this formulation is generally more complex and the computation more tricky. For example, let's focus on the inverse kinematics of the double pendulum at position level. In this case, the goal is to compute Q1 and Q2 for given xx and xz. In view of these equations, everybody understands that their computation becomes more difficult due to the presence of trigonometric functions to be reversed. Further, for most applications, especially in 3D, there is outright no analytical solution. In this case, inverse kinematics must resort to a numerical method, such as an iterative Newton-based algorithm. For the velocities q dot and the accelerations q dot dot, the inverse kinematics being linear with respect to these quantities, their computation can be directly performed via linear algebra methods.